Hey everyone, this is Patrice with the Positivity Corner and I'm back with another video. I was working on my usual format with an artist. I was getting ready to uh, record another video and this popped up on my news feed. We lost an absolute musical legend one of the most influential figures in popular music of the latter half of the 20th century, folks. I'm talking about the one, the only, Burt Bacharach. He passed away at the age of 94 years old. May he rest in eternal peace. This, uh, hearing this news for me, brings back so many memories. I first heard Burt Bacharach in the 1960s. 1960s. He was so influential in pop music. It's hard to even estimate his influence. Just astounding. Three Oscar Awards, three Grammys, Grammy Trustee Award. Um, he was not a Kennedy Center honoree, I don't believe, but every damn thing else, especially songwriting awards. Um, he was a songwriter, a record producer, a composer, a conductor, singer. He sang occasionally. Um, through the 1950s, in the 1980s, he was the standard, I think, of popular music. He set the standard, folks, for it. Very, very, very influential. Um, he had so many hit songs, it's hard to, to mention them. But I will uh, mention the ones that top the charts in the United States. This guy's in love with you. Raindrops keep falling on my head. I linked that reaction on my community page when I referenced Burt Bacharach's passing. Check it out. Uh, they long to be close to you. Arthur's theme, best that you can do. That's what friends are for. Um, wow. I mean, what can you say about this guy? He had 73 top 40 hits in the United States chart. 73. Yeah. Wow. Um, he was born in Kansas City, Missouri. But he grew up in New York City. And he was uh, playing the piano during his childhood. Right? His, his mother was an actual songwriter, an amateur songwriter. And she made him play the piano. And here is where it starts to turn for him. When he got to be a teenager, he had a very, very keen interest in jazz. And you know how much I love jazz. Yes, indeed. Um, he started to dislike his classical piano lessons that he was taking. <laughs> And started to uh, sneak into nightclubs in New York to watch musicians play. And who did he watch? People like Count Basie and Dizzy Gillespie. That influences songwriting. And you know what? It says in the what I read today... He was very interested in bebop, which is 
course, is a subgenre of jazz. I'm going to read you the definition real quick of bebop. Bebop is a style of jazz developed in the early to mid 1940s in the United States. The style features compositions characterized by a fast tempo, complex chord progressions with rapid chord changes, and numerous changes of key, instrumental virtuosity, and improvisation based on a combination of harmonic structure, the use of scales, and occasional references to the melody. Well, what do you know? We just described Burt Bacharach's style of songwriting. <laughs> heavily, heavily influenced by jazz. He drafted, got drafted into the army, stationed overseas at one point in Germany, and then back in New Jersey and New York, he arranged and played music for army bands, right? He meets Vic Damone, great singer, right? Vic Damone was a traditional pop and big band singer, as well as being an actor. They met, they were both serving in the army. Then after they both got discharged, Burt Bacharach was his piano player and his conductor. <sighs> he started playing and conducting for other singers like Steve Lawrence, the Ames Brothers, Joe Gray. And then he got his big break. Someone recommended him to Marlena Dietrich. She needed an arranger and conductor for her nightclub shows. Yeah, that's when he got major recognition as a conductor and an arranger. And then his songwriting career. I mean, it's just, it's just stellar. Absolutely stellar. He started um, writing hits that charted in the 1950s, folks. 1950s. And of course, his partnership with the one and only Hal David. He wrote with other people as well, but they were one of the most successful partnerships in music history. Yeah. All those hits for Dionne Warwick, you know, anyone who had a heart, Alfie, walk on by. I say a little prayer. I'll never fall in love again. Do you know the way to San Jose? What? Just, just brilliant. Brilliant stuff. Um, always imitated, never equal. Did soundtracks, including uh, Casino Royale, What's New Pussycat, and of course, Butch Cassidy, you know, Sundance Kid. Uh, Alfie. Um, just a stellar career. I, I looked at his discography and I and this popped up and I went, oh my goodness. In 1998, Burt Bacharach did one of the most unusual collaborations ever, you would think. But you'd probably be wrong on this, but he did an album with none other than Elvis Costello. The album was called Painted from Memory. And it's absolutely brilliant. I have it, folks. When I heard it, I went out and bought it. 
the songs are so well done. Now, I'm not an Elvis Costello fan by any means. His voice, I could take or leave it. But this collaboration is one of a kind. I am going to play the title track from this album. This is greatness, folks. Absolute greatness from 1998. Elvis Costello with Burt Bacharach. Painted from memory. Such a picture of loveliness. The resemblance doesn't it look like she could speak those eyes I try to capture they are Wow. 
just brilliant stuff right there. 1998, Elvis Costello and Burt Bacharach, Painted from Memory. Let me tell you about that album. It's basically um, about relationships and uh, in some ways the disintegration of a particular relationship. Don't play this album if you're going through some stuff in your relationship because you're going to be boohooing. It's that good. I mean, lyrically, it is absolutely stellar. Musically, innovative, cutting edge, just a brilliant album. I don't know why it didn't do better. It was critically acclaimed in some circles, but it should have been a monster album in my opinion. But anyway, no matter. Check it out. 1998, Elvis Costello, Burt Bacharach. The album is titled Painted from Memory. Burt Bacharach, absolute legend. Hands down, one of the most influential composers, producers of the 20th century, folks. May he rest in peace. And we uh, offer our condolences to his family, his many, many friends, and to all the music fans who have been listening to his music for 60 plus years, folks. That's staying power. As always, this is Patrice with the Positivity Corner. If you like what you heard and saw in this video, please click the like button. Don't forget to share. I love when you share. And check out my other channel, Club Classics Revisited. A little house, a little disco. Actually, a lot of disco. We're having a good time over there. I will be back with my regular format shortly. I just wanted to do this tribute to this man right here because... He is so deserving of all the accolades that he's going to get with his death. And thank you, Burt Bacharach, for the many years of absolute brilliance in music. We, we appreciated it. Really did. Thank you. Take care, everyone.